Welcome back to the Arkansas Dynasty here in NCAA 06. We are just signed our first recruit, Marcus Webb from Texas. He has signed on the dotted line big right tackle, maybe a left tackle, who knows. We are ranked number 13 in the nation. We are 6-2 overall, 4-1 in conference play as we head to Mississippi to take on the Ole Miss Rebels. Can we handle business? Can we get the job done? It is raining. It is pouring. The old man better be awake for this game. As Howard gets to carry, he's going to pick up a first down. Darren McFadden is still hurt. He's going to be out basically for the rest of the season unless we have a really, really late ball game. Maybe he might find a way to get back for that. But we're going to rely on running back by committee as we've done so this whole season. We find Baker right there. He makes the catch. We give the ball to our fullback, Willis. Now, obviously, Howard is our lead back, but we, got, we still got Felix Jones and Poole on the sideline. That pass will fall incomplete, well overthrown. What can these receivers do on third down and 11? Looking deep downfield. That pass is caught, but our receiver gets rocked, and the ball is loose. What a hit, and what a recovery, and what a stop for Ole Miss. So those Rebels take over. They fire to the left side. Caught by Cunningham. Nice spin move, and they're in the Arkansas territory just like that. Play fake for Golston. Fires it to the left side. Caught but out of bounds. And that's going to be second down and 10. We send a blitz. Look out. The quarterback gets absolutely destroyed. But they throw a perfect pass. A mean block springs Cunningham loose. And that's going to result in a touchdown as the Rebels strike first. So Poole on the return is going to cough it up. But we're there for the recovery. And this game is definitely not going our way to kick things off. Let's get that thing to Howard and try to calm things down. He picks up five yards. From the 21, play fake. Robert Johnson rolls to the left side. He can keep it if he wants to. He does, and he's going to pick up a first down for the Razorbacks. From the 28-yard line, Howard's met in the backfield. Gain of two. He's lucky to get back. Howard to the left side. Big hit put on our tailback, but he will have enough for the first down. Triple option. Johnson keeps it. Johnson crosses the 50 into Ole Miss territory with a gain of around 16 yards. Johnson's going to roll left, throws it back to the right, and Howard forgot his hands in Arkansas. Second down and 10. We're going to run the ball, Felix Jones. Felix Jones on that right side. Makes a man miss. Cuts it back into the 20, to the 10, and tripped up just shy of the 5. First and goal, we get the ball to Howard, and we go backwards just a little bit. That Rebels defense is no joke. Second down and goal. Johnson going to roll to the left side. Is he going to keep it? He will. Is he going to get to the end zone? He will not. Third down and goal from the 2. Jones in that quarterback, and Felix Jones gets into the end zone. He appears to be hurt. Hopefully it's not too serious. But we do get seven up on the board, and this ball game is all tied up as they get the kicker turned up to the 30-yard line. Golston looking downfield, drops it off to the fullback, and Holland gets rocked by Moore. Second down and nine. They go up the gut, and that's going to result in a decent game. Give them around six yards right there. They're going to run the ball with Holland. He's going to pick up the rest, still on his feet. Fighting for every inch that he can get. First down and 10. Ghost to the right side. That pass broken up and nearly intercepted. Last play of the first quarter is right here. That pass caught by Cunningham. The ball is loose. And Arkansas jumps on top of it. And now the momentum is going our way. So start of the second quarter. Jones has the football. Back in the ball game after he was shaken up after he scored the touchdown and he looks just fine. Runs for a first down there. Howard gets met in the backfield and down he goes. From the 35-yard line, second down and 12. Howard again tripped up in the backfield. So third down and long. Johnson fires it, caught by Winston. And he's going to be just shy of the first down marker. But he does put us in field goal range and the kick is going to cut through this rain right through the uprights. So 10-7 to seven is the score. Ross. From just inside his zone 10 gets past the 20 and pays a price for it. They go up the gut. Look at that D-line working the shed blocks and make the tackle. That pass broken up downfield. And now we're looking at third down and eight. Can our defense get off the field? They fire to the left side. It's going to be bobbled and broken up. And we force a three and out from our own eight-yard line. Johnson's going to roll right, sets his feet, throws it. Caught by Thompson. And we're up to the 39-yard line. Jones in that quarterback. He's actually going to throw this thing. He sets his feet. He fires it. And look at Felix Jones. Put that thing on the money. First down and 10. Howard breaks a tackle. Howard gets spun down. Looks to be just shy of the first down. From the 25. Give it to Peyton Hillis. Tough running up the gut and has a first down. 
Give it to Hillis again. Breaks the tackle. Makes the man miss. He's loose. He's going to have the first down and much more as he gets down to the seven-yard line. So first and goal for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Give it to Peyton Hillis again. Thrown down at the four-yard line. Make it the three. Second down and goal. Hillis gets dropped at the five. So now we're going backwards. Third down and goal. Give it to Hillis a third straight time. Make it a fourth straight time. And we're going to be in the end zone just like that. 22 is a problem. So Ole Miss is going to get the ball to start the second half. They're down by 10 and could use a nice long drive that puts on some points to possibly get some momentum back. They go up the gut with Holland, and the fullback's going to rumble for a game of eight. Play fake and look out. Paying the price is their quarterback as he gets set. Third down, seven yards to go. That pass, Golston to Golston. They must be related. Different daddies, same mamas maybe. First down and 10. Ghost into the left side, that pass caught by Ross. Ross to the 50 and Ross gets dragged down. And now it's gonna be second down and three. They run the ball and that's not gonna get the job done. So now they're looking at third down and one from the 45. Give it to number 45, is that enough for the first down? No, our cornerback is there to stop their fullback. That's a nice tough tackle right there. From the 20 yard line, we get the ball to Howard. Howard gonna try to turn the corner, then cuts it back. Look at that juke move, still on his feet. And finally dragged down after a 15-yard pickup. We give the thing to Howard again. And watch him work. And he's going to pick up around 8 yards. Second down and 2. Howard gets a carry again. Works his way up. Field breaks a tackle in enemy territory. So from the 48-yard line now. Toss play to Jones. On direct snap to Jones. Nice spin move. So shifty. Hard to bring down. He's going to pick up 6. Now Jones. He keeps it again, running that option, and he's going to pick up another first down. From the 32, Johnson back in the ball game to play quarterback. He hands it off to Howard, who picks up seven yards. From the 25, Johnson rolls right, still rolling. Throws it, and that pass will be broken up. So now it's going to be third down and three. Johnson has it, has a man open, but can't connect the dots, and that's a shame because that would have been enough for a first down. So now we got to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So Arkansas is now up by 13. Still just a two-possession lead, but now you need a touchdown. These two touchdowns to really be doing something if you're Ole Miss. That kick return will get brought up to the 29, making the 30-yard line. First down and 10. Golston fires it. That pass caught by Cunningham, and Cunningham is going to have a gain of three. Second down and seven, and look at Stelz. He's loose, 50. 40 being chased from behind inside the 20. I don't think we're going to catch him. Touchdown, Rebels. So Ole Miss drives down quicker than you could say quicker. And that is now going to make the game just a six-point difference. So 20 to 14 to score. Jones, he pitches it to Howard. Howard cuts it back, able to work his way upfield for a gain of one. Might be the last play of the third quarter. Jones keeps it, tries to pitch at the last second. Instead, he holds on to it. So fourth quarter action, now going to set up a little screen pass. Johnson to Howard. Howard's going to cut it back inside. Gets met by a defender, but shakes him off and is able to pick up the first down just barely. Johnson looking deep downfield. What a perfect pass. A marvelous missile. And we got ourselves a first down. Monk makes the catch. That's going to result in a gain of a couple from the 40-yard line. It's second down and eight. Rolling out right as Johnson throws on a run. And look at that marvelous pass right there as we get all the way inside the five. First and goal now. Howard trying to get busy, and he will pick up maybe a yard. Second down and goal. We go up the gut with Hillis. Hillis going backwards. So third down and goal. Johnson looking to pass. He could run it if he wants to, and he's going to get into the end zone. That looked too easy. And Coach Vin Lasso wants Arkansas to go for two. Going to lead the offense out there. Hillis. Receives the pitch on the option and gets into the end zone. So now it's a 14-point lead. Ross on the kicker. Turn up past the 40, and he's loose as he works his way in the Arkansas territory. From the 45, Ghost fires it. That pass is dropped, and that might have got them a first down. Second down and 10 from the gun. That pass batted away, and now it's going to be third down. Single back look. Golston dropping back. Throws it. Has a man open. That's Ross who can run. And he's going to run his way upfield for a gain of 15 and a first down. On first and 10. They run the ball up the gut. And look at Moore who was there for the stop. Second down and nine. Golston fires it to the left side. Overthrows everybody. The mascot had the best chance of catching that one. So Golston drops back on third down. Fires it. It's going to be caught. And that's going to be more than enough to move those chains up to the 10-yard line. Ghost surveys the field, throws it. That pass broken up. 
Man, oh man, if we could have caught that one, the game might be over right there. They throw it to the left side, bat it away, and the ball will fall into the end zone incomplete. Third down. Look at that. Field of goal is going to get rocked. The D-line answers the call. Fourth and goal. We send the blitz. Not going to get there. Golson steps up. Throws it caught by Cunningham. So they fail to get the onside kick. Now can they stop us? Howard, spin move, and then gets rocked. Second down and seven. Ole Miss has two timeouts left. We give the ball to Hillis, and Hillis kind of got tangled up there and sets up a third down and three. Jones, and that quarterback, he's going to run that option. They knew it was coming, and they couldn't stop it. So 20 seconds, 19 seconds on the clock. We're going to run the ball one more time, and Howard is going to make a man miss and get into the end zone to rub some salt in the wound. So we come to Ole Miss. And we get the job done. It's a good feeling to continue to win these SEC games because we might mess around and get to that SEC title game. Obviously, the biggest game left for us will probably be LSU. Mississippi State isn't no slouch as we play them in the second half of this episode. But the way that we're able to win, because we're kind of winning in different ways, this game we kind of passed the ball more than usual. With all these running backs, including Payne Hillis, who's a fullback in this game, you got to run the ball with this squad, but we do have some nice weapons, some decent weapons on the outside. So you see it. Jumping up, Arkansas wins over Ole Miss, or win over Ole Miss, moves them to number eight in the latest poll. So we're ranked number eight. Are we a little bit cocky? I don't know. We're going to find out as we move to seven and two, as we take on those Mississippi State Bulldogs. Let's get right to the action. Cole from inside his own five. Bobbles to open the kickoff. Works his way up to the 10. Going to maneuver backwards. And is he going to get to the 11-yard line? And that's it. That's all. Get the ball to Howard. Hurdles a man. And gets up to the 14. Tack on a 15-yard face mask. Automatic first down. We're up to the 29. Get the ball to Howard to the right side. Howard to the 40. To the 45. And pushed out of bounds with a first down in his back pocket. From the 47. Now we run it and we go backwards too. So second down and 12 from the gun. Johnson under pressure. Throws it deep, but that pass broken up. And our receiver pays the price. Third down and 12. Johnson lets it fly. Caught by Thompson. What a diving catch that was. Quick pass to Baker. And that's going to result in the first down. So we're hot right now. Passing the football. Baker hauls it in on the slant route. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. So we strike first. Let's see what these Bulldogs can do. First down and 10. They give the ball to Norwood, and Norwood gets shut down. He is the best player on offense. We got to shut him down every single play, and so far we're doing it. Third down and six. They fake it to him. Gilmore has it, fires it. Glover catches it, and that pass will not get them a first down. So from our own 23-yard line, we take over. Robert Johnson underneath finds Baker yet again. His third catch, I believe, of the contest so far. And we're still in the first quarter. Marcus Monk, he hauls that one in. Still on his feet, fighting for every yard that he can get. And he gets a handful. We throw it to the left side. Caught by Winston, who's going to pick up the first down by the heads of his chinny chin chin. Howard gets the carry, and Howard is going to go nowhere fast. Second down and seven. Johnson looking downfield. That pass is caught by Baker, and that's going to result in a first down. Jones trying to get loose, and Jones will not get loose, to say the least. Johnson looking downfield. That pass is not a very good one as it hits the grass from the 25. Third down and 12. That pass caught by Monk, but he gets dragged down shy of the first down. So we got to sit up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. And now we're up 10 to nothing. So what can we do on defense? Can we force another three and out? That would be a solid look as we try to extend our lead here. But Norwood gets loose, gets away from three guys, and then Moore gets back in the picture to bring him down. First down and 10 from the 36. Play fake. Gilmore fires it to the left side, caught by Dickerson. And Dickerson breaks a couple of tackles, works his way into Arkansas territory, and that's going to bring the first quarter to an end. So first down and 10. Gilmore fires that thing, caught by Stevens. And that's going to result in a gain of around three. They give it to Glover. And Glover, he's going to pick up another gain of around three, making four. So third down and three. They pitch it. Norwood gets loose for a second. That's a touchdown saving tackle, but not quite a first down saving tackle. Gilmore pitches that thing. Norwood, again, the workhorse for this squad is him. And number 12 can be a problem. Second down and one. They pitch it. He gets away from Sims. Has a lane to the end zone. And he is gone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. 
And they're down by just three now. Cole is able to work his way up to the 15-yard line. Can we get a drive going to put some points up on the board? Howard makes one guy miss and then runs into a wall. Second down and seven. Quick pass, and that pass will fall to the grass as it's dropped by Winston. Johnson going to roll right, throws it over the middle. Caught by Monk. He pays a price for it, but he hangs on to the football. What a hit that was. Thrown it to the left side. Caught by Baker. Baker gets away and then dragged down after he has the first down. From the 48-yard line in Arkansas territory, now in Mississippi State territory with a fresh set at 10. Some physical running by Howard Dare for a gain of around 13. Now Howard makes the man miss. He's loose into the secondary and finally chased down from behind at the 11. So first down and 10 in that pass intercepted by Timbers. He's going the other way. He gets hit and the ball is loose and then he recovers his own fumble. If he hangs on to that ball, he might still be running. Gilmore fires it. That pass caught by Dickerson and Bounds. No, it was not. Second down and 10. That pass caught. Norwood put him in a slot and he's trouble. From the 45 now in Arkansas territory. Norwood is loose. Can he pick up a block from Gilmore? He does. And the quarterback springs his running back for six. So 14 to 10. This football game has been flipped on its head. Howard trying to get busy. and He's going to pick up three yards there. Second down and seven. That pass is going to be caught. And Bracken has a first down. First down and ten. Johnson fires it. Tipped. And then he gets hit. This add insult to injury. Johnson looking downfield. Throws it. That pass hits the grass. Third down and ten. Johnson going to roll left. Looking for Thompson. And that pass is caught. How he hang on to that one, I do not know. That hit was vicious. Howard trying to get to the outside. Nothing doing. Second down. Ten yards to go. Robert Johnson under pressure. Gets away. Diving for the first down marker. He's going to get rocked. And the ball is loose. Another huge hit. One of the hardest hitting games we've had all season long. That pass will be broken up. And now Mississippi State has 25 seconds to work with. And then Robinson off of the edge is going to bring the first half to an end. So Mississippi State will take over to start the second half. They got the football and they got the lead. Two things that you want in a football game. Second down and four. They get the ball to Norwood. He breaks the tackle. Then Moore is there to clean him up. From the 31. It's third down and three. Glover up the gut to the fullback. Get it? No. The Razorbacks deny him. And we take over after the three and out. Johnson running for his life. Still looking downfield. Now he decides to throw it away. And that's a mighty good decision there. Second down and ten. Howard is loose. Can't quite get out of that tackle, and he might still be running. We get the ball to Peyton Hillis up the gut. Who breaks the tackle? Falls forward. Gain of around eight there. First down and ten. Give it to Peyton Hillis again right up the gut. Second down and four. Again right up the gut, but this time they knew it was coming, and they shut it down. Third down and seven. Johnson going to roll left. Johnson sets his feet, and he overthrows his man, and we get the ball right back to the Bulldogs. So Mississippi State has a chance to increase their lead on this drive. Norwood breaks some tackles. I don't know how he got through there, but he did for a gain of six. They run the ball again, and this time we're there to shut him down with Desmond Sims. Gilmore fires that thing. That pass is overthrown, and yet again, the Razorbacks force a three and out. Johnson on the option. He's going to keep it. He gets tackled after a gain of seven. Shotgun formation. Get the ball to Howard. Breaks one tackle. He's into the secondary with a head of steam. And a first down as we cross Bulldog territory. And now Howard goes backwards. Loss of four. Throwing it underneath. Caught by Baker who gets rocked. Another big hit. Third down now. Johnson going to roll to the left side. Still rolling. Still rolling. And he's going to roll until he throws out of bounds. And we got to get the ball right back to the Bulldogs. So Mississippi State defense and Arkansas defense are just, just exchanging haymaker after haymaker. Norwood gets the carry. Going to get close to the first down marker as the third quarter comes to an end. So fourth quarter now. Third down and one. And we get in there. Robinson with the sack. His second of the ball game. And that brings that drive to an end. Can our, can our offense please wake up and match the swag of our defense? Second down and ten. Johnson going to roll right. Now he rolls left. Throws it. Caught by Howard. Howard makes one guy miss. Then he pairs it with the spin move. And he gets it to the 47-yard line. First down. 10 yards to go. Bracken is open. And that's going to result in a first down and much more. Look at the spin move he put on that defender. And now we're up to the 16-yard line. We get the ball to Felix Jones. is going backwards in the heat. Loss of four. From the 20. Johnson fires it. That pass broken up. And now it's going to be third down. 
Johnson dropping back, set up a screen pass for Howard. Howard has a lane to the outside, to the 10, to the 5. Can he get into the end zone? He can. Touchdown, Razorbacks. So can we come back and win this ball game? Defense, it is up to you to get a stop. 3.29 on the clock with a three-point lead. They get the ball to Norwood, weaving through traffic. Gets brought down after a gain of 10 and a fresh set of 10. They get the ball to Howard again. Gets away from Moore. And then he gets dragged down at the 41. Make it the 40-yard line. Second down and two. Glover loses it, but they recover it. So first down and 10. Norwood gets the carry. Look at him. Just a burst of speed, and he's just off to the races. Brought down at the Arkansas 42-yard line. That one might have possibly been intercepted without the contact. Glover, that, that run's going to get them two. Third down and eight. Gilmore's going to keep it. Look at Gilmore get loose. He's going to have a first down from the 29. Play fake. Gilmore throws it deep. Has a man but overthrows him. Arkansas, we caught a break. Second down and 10. Now Gilmore gets out the backfield with the run to the right side. He's going to pick up nine. Second down and one, or third down and one, excuse me. Glover up the gut, has a first down. Under a minute 30 to go, more with the stop there. And they pick up two. Minute 16 on the clock. They get the ball to Norwood. And Norwood's going to fall forward. And now it's third down. Looking at third down and three. They run the ball, and Norwood breaks a tackle, still on his feet, and pushed down to the ground. Mississippi State burns a timeout. That pass caught in the end zone, but the hit knocks it loose. Second down to go from the one. We get some good penetration, and Moore is there for the stop on Norwood, and Mississippi State burns another timeout. They go with the option, and Gilmore is there with the football and a touchdown. Now, Kuhn's going to bring it out, and ouch, and we don't even get to the 15. So not where we want to be to start this drive from the 44-yard line. Johnson looking downfield, still looking, throws it to Monk, who... Fails to make the catch. Second down and 10. Johnson going to roll left a little bit. Caught by Baker. And you know I'm needing this dough. Howard to the 30. Makes a man miss and gets out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Looking downfield is Johnson. Looking for Thompson. Going to overthrow him. Second down and 10. 19 seconds on the clock. Do we let this number 8 rating get to our head? That pass falls incomplete. Third down. Johnson. Rolling left, throws it to Winston. It's tempted and caught by Felix Jones, who has a first down. So he one timeout, first down and 10. Nine seconds on the clock. Robert Johnson rolls right, throws it, caught by Monk. Monk trying to get loose, and he's loose. Inside the 20. Can he get to the end zone? He can't. There's no time left on the clock. And Mississippi State with one of the biggest upsets of the season as they beat number eight. Arkansas, so definitely not the way you want to end this video. Our defense couldn't get a stop on that final drive, but we had plenty of chances on offense, and we just didn't capitalize on it. Uh, questionable decision to bring it out of the end zone with 44 seconds on the clock. Definitely rethinking that one. Uh, but, yeah, so we come up a little bit short, but it's still a fantastic game, fantastic year. Our next game will be LSU, and we'll have the SEC Championship game, whether we're in it or not. I figure we'll just do that every single year. But that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.